Вот поэтому так получается, что за нами постоянно кто-то ходит. Я спрашиваю, кого кто снимает. Вы даже не представляете объем, что здесь творится. I think I'm using the freedom I have and the availability of the digital processes, you know, for my people. People do everything behind closed doors. And you have to be careful about the intention of the next guys. Anything can happen. Todo lo que estamos logrando de informar a las personas, de hacer denuncias, de peor está marcando historia, está marcando un manual de estilo para el mundo entero. Aka tindu koyo ummata hamon tanihi kida mekila aka harabna aka idrama na tawanga tleza tawanga in min de tibal tawanga na haba wi watgas na de kini malech दुनिया थाला हर से मालूमत मिलावेगी हर से कीगी सोना पूरे दामों बैले नवे दा इंटरनेट नवे खाना नो दास या पकी इस चाहता आम नो वाले हाल को लपाता ना वाची दास सदी दास सन्दी दा द काफ़ेर योगार साजिश्ता नो द कसान टोल मुंगरावन दासे गोरु चिया सियारा यो बेवबान दासे शाले माले पकी दी नो चिकला द चोकरा वो पंद्रह साल अलग की राठीं कर रहे थे वार की वरना बस थे वो कि वो खिलाफ जो बस लान दासी ने घट पशान ना कह रहे वो उचात हाइड्स है वो कहना दासी घरे लगा बस खप आते को लोग बस तू वर दुनान यो चिला दासारी दासी वो पढ़ा मल्ले वासे ले जाना में के वो बल में आकुम माशुम अलग को देर घाट खकारों को मल दावा जाता है चिनान सभा दाशे पाकिस्तान के देर ज्यात्रा वांडा और मुंको उन्दा तहरीक घाट को शेष हर योशिपा शुरू दा। Although hardline, these views on homosexuality are not uncommon inside conservative Pakistan. Here, same-sex acts are illegal and punishable by prison sentence. However. Homosexuality has a much more prominent and nuanced position within Pakistani society than is often reported. Vice News met with members of the local LGBT community to find out how they are using new technologies to empower themselves and express their sexual and gender identities. One of the reasons HIV to be We headed to meet a young trans woman, Maya Zaman. People ask me, why don't you live like a boy? Why can't you live like a boy? This shows how much level of understanding he has about the transition and everything. I mean, this is something which is not in your hands. This is something, it's like I aligned my body, my soul and my mind. The boys hit on me, yes. So I do use a, a, a straight uh, application like Tinder. The main thing comes when I tell them that I'm, I'm a transgender. Few of them ask, oh, what's a transgender? <laughs> Simply I tell them, Google it. <laughs> Maya took us to meet another trans girl she'd become friends with. They now share an apartment together. We asked them if they felt safe in Pakistan. <laughs> nice dress, nice top, I like your top. We first met on Manjam. I posted an ad over there. I, I wanted to have a flatmate. Uh, the main reason why we decided to live in together because security reasons. I mean, we were dating random guys, meeting random guys. I mean, you have to be careful about the intention of the next guys because it's Pakistan. You, anything can happen. That is discrimination. If I'm chatting to with a person with a very less level thinking level, then obviously he will say, "Oh, it's haram because it's Islamic country. Don't your family stop you in this and that?" But that the world is uh, changing now. The trans is the new trend. Chi girl is the new trend. That's my line. My profile. So what do you see the guy when you see him on Tinder? Everything. Every single thing. What looks? The way he poses for a picture. The way he 
dress, of course, and lifestyle. This guy super liked me, and uh, I don't know whether he's Usman. the Usman, oh my god, I've tried so many Usman. Usman. Uh, oh god, obnoxious. <laughs> no. 18, he's a kid, I'm yeah. sorry. Got like, a I'm not going to invite him for a bed, but I can go for a coffee with him because he can just open the door of a car for me. And yeah. That evening, Maya and Anaya were heading to a party hosted by a prominent LGBT activist. Despite there being no official LGBT venues in Pakistan, the community does manage to meet through the aid of websites and apps like Manjam, Grinder, and Scruff. We have a get-together to go to. I'm not sure what I'm wearing, so I, I'm, it's like getting really difficult for me to choose. All the time, me and, and I are the showstopper, so obviously we have to look perfect, so we're just looking for things that can add on our personality and everything. And I think so, I like these earrings. Should I go for them? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, I'm buying them. The party was being hosted by Kasim Iqbal, who runs the NARS Health Alliance, an NGO which supports the health and rights of sexual and gender minorities in Pakistan. When we arrived, he was speaking to a gay woman who he was helping to flee the country. It's okay. It's okay. This is actually the first time I've met them. We've actually arranged asylum for them. We, we're getting them out of country very soon. We tried to collect money for them, and it was really difficult. I mean, once they get overseas, we've already talked to an organization over there that's going to provide them shelter. I think in Pakistan, a lot of people are sort of isolated. They can't share who they are with anyone. But I think what's interesting is that all this technology is actually allowing people to mix much more. There's a lot of uh, gay web pages with closed memberships on Facebook. I know one person in particular who was running such a page, and about a year ago there were some murders in Pakistan, and in Lahore specifically. All of the victims were actually members of that Facebook group. So he immediately took down that page. In total, three gay men were murdered. A 28-year-old paramedic, Mohammed Ajaz, was arrested for the murders. He claimed he was trying to stop the spread of evil. The murderer did have profiles on several different um, gay networking websites. He approached them, sent them messages, made dates with them, and had sex with them, and then strangled them. There were messages being sent for people to be safe, SMS messages. We were encouraging people not to meet anonymous people. One of the major roadblocks towards LGBT rights and protection within Pakistan is the religious establishment. We went to speak with the controversial cleric Mulana Abdul Aziz, who preaches at Islamabad's Red Mosque and has a large and loyal following. So, now when you do Islam, the people who like Islam will end up with their actions. Why is this job happening? Why are we going to do this? Why are we going to do this? Why are we going to do this? The Shariah is not giving it to them. So, it will be a strong effect. So, we understand that the solution is that the Quran will be given to the Quran and the Sunnah. لیکن اگر مرد مرد کے ساتھ یہ کام کر رہا ہے جیسے ہم جنس پرستی کرتے ہیں تو اس کا حکم یہ ہے کہ کسی بڑی عمارت سے اٹھا کر اس کو نیچے پھینکا جائے اچھی عمارت سے گرا کر نیچے پھینک دی جائے تاکہ پورے لوگ عبرت حاصل کریں Despite the often overt homophobia within Pakistani society casual hookups between men do frequently occur We joined a group of sexual health workers who agreed to show us some of the places where the practice known as MSM activity, or men having sex with men, takes place. MSM activities are very common over here because like, uh, it's very, hard, very easy to find a guy, uh, a kid or a guy who's like younger in age. He can get paid for like, uh, he can get paid rupees 50 or 100 and uh, he can do the sexual activity over here. Let's go to the Sometimes 
तो वही यहाँ पे सो, लोग सोते हैं और सुबह को उठ के अपने काम पे या कुछ भी उनमें से एम एस एम भी यहाँ रात को कोई रोकने टोकने वाला नहीं होता जैसे मर्जी आए लाइट ऑफ करे और अपना काम करे और चले जाए चाहे आधे घंटे के लिए आए चाहे दो घंटे के लिए चाहे चार घंटे के लिए आए आए और चालीस रुपए दें और अपना काम करे और चले तो अभी यहाँ पे अब तुम सेक्स करते हो लड़कों के साथ करते हो लड़कों के साथ भी करते हो लड़कियों के साथ भी करते ठीक है तो लड़के लड़कियाँ कहाँ पे इस पार्क में मिलते हैं या आते जाते सर मतलब कहाँ लेके जाते हो इधर से इधर से लेके जाते हो इसी जगह पे मिलते हैं यहाँ पे लड़कियाँ भी होती हैं लड़कियाँ भी और लड़कियाँ कॉन्डम इस्तेमाल क्या करो ठीक है और दूसरा ये कि और लोगों को भी इसके बारे में बताया करो कि कॉन्डम ये आप लोग रखें ये कॉन्डम्स हैं और ये आपने इस्तेमाल We headed to a local park and popular cruising spot where we met with two male sex workers. Kya keh rahi thi aapko? Shaadi Mubarak. Kya wajah thi? Uh just aap keh sakte ho ki ye ha gay marriage samajh rahe hain ya something kind wo tease kar rahe hain wo chhed ke jaate hain ki wo shaharat karke wo chale gaye ki aage samne unko baat kar rahe hain wo talk kar rahe hain ke sath. Normally aapko kitna tease karte hain? Normally sab na ek pehle ke piche se awaaz karenge ki ek something like हॉनेट या गे चैट ये दो तीन या ज़्यादा पॉपुलर ना जो जिनके बारे में ज़्यादा लोगों को पता है और उसके ऊपर अच्छे अच्छे लोग भी मिलते हैं मुझे पूछा है की यार आप आते हो डेली और आज आप इस तरह यानी के आये हो यहाँ पे तो मैंने सब बताया तो फिर उसके बाद कहता है अच्छा डोंट क्या मुझे आपका सर नंबर मिल सकता है मैंने चार्ज करते हैं मैंने सब बताया की मैं मैं कहा आप क्या पे करोगे आप क्या करते हो सब बताया कि जी मैं ऑफिस यानी कि ऑफिस में जॉब करता हूँ ये वो तो फिर मैंने उसे कहा मैं कहा इट्स ओके मैं 2000 मैंने उसको देख के उसकी जेब जो उसकी हालत मैं कहा ठीक है और इजीली यानी कि फैमिली से मिलवा सकते हैं ठीक है पता ये इतना कहते हैं कि लड़कियों की तरह नहीं आपने चलना हमारे घर आ गया पहले कहते चल कंट्रोल करना है अपने आप को हाँ शादी करनी पड़ती है घर वालों की खुशी के लिए ना कि जिस तरह हमारे घर वाले होते हैं उनके सपने होते हैं कि हमारा बेटा है इसकी शादी होगी इसके बच्चे होंगे हम उन्हें खिलाएंगे तो ज़ाहिर है हम अपने घर वालों की खुशी के लिए फिर इतना तो कर ही सकते हैं जिन्होंने हमें पैदा किया है डॉक्टर He agreed to speak to us, but wished to remain anonymous. Hi, sir. It is not produced by the transgender's body, so you need to take it regularly. You need to have a dose of it either monthly or weekly. It has the good effects and it has the bad effects as well because it weakens the bones and the muscles. People are not doing it safe in Pakistan because they are either overdoing it. or uh, they are doing it the wrong way there are lots of transgenders who have done suicidal attempts so it's better that i as a doctor can do it the right way for them so i started taking hormones in uh, january 2014 it's going to be 2 years now all my other friends were saying that you will eat a lot or you get fat or this and that after 3 months i started uh, seeing the effects on me people think that pakistan is a very conservative place Pakistan does not do this Pakistan does not do that but the thing is that the society over here is too closed people do everything behind closed doors so many big politicians so many big designers celebrities would love to have a life like us but because of so many things social constraints family constraints and religion culture so they don't just come out we left Maya and Anaya and went to meet Kasim at the offices of Nas Health Alliance. The government of Pakistan is always keeping an eye out. They do know what we are doing. So the gay community is very scared. And this particular video was actually shot in some rural areas in the mountains uh and apparently a boy has been caught uh in the act. They're sodomizing him with a thick branch of a of a tree. 
We get evidences of these cases through the community. They're usually sent to us, sometimes through WhatsApp, uh, sometimes uh, through Facebook. Really disturbing part is we can't really do much with those evidences because we can't go to the police with those evidences. We can't go to the Human Rights Commission of Pakistan with them, and we feel helpless. Despite the very real dangers faced by the Pakistani LGBT community, the anonymity of the online world is allowing them to freely express their gender orientation and sexuality behind closed doors. With this partial freedom comes the hope that they, at some point, will be able to change public perception and live openly and safely within society. It makes you feel helpless. It makes you feel devastated at times. It makes you feel a lot of things, but I still have hope. This is the Islamic Republic of Pakistan. It is against Islam to judge people and to discriminate against people. The LGBT community is also good Muslims. It is very important for them to be accepted by their religion. <laughs>